Um, this is 21 on my countdown, the top 50 games of my collection. Um, this one is a monster. This is uh, Star Trek Fleet Captains. Um, Going to be a little bit harder to find this game. Not uh, not a lot of copies out there still on the shelves. Um, and you're going to probably drop a hundred bucks uh, to get the the base game. Um, essentially, what this game is, uh, if you're a Star Trek fan um, and enjoy a little bit of complexity, this uh, this game is a season of Star Trek in a box. Um, the game plays out, it's designed for two players. Um, you can play one or two players per faction, per side. So you could have two fed against two Klingon. There are expansions that add uh, the Romulans um, and the Dominion. Um, and again, you could play one or two players per faction. Um, it probably plays an hour per faction. Um, and maybe a little longer. Um, difficulty one to five. This is a five, um, and I would say you want 16, 16 and up for age, age ranges. Um, but this is a sandbox game. Essentially, it lets you do. Um, you're only limited by. Uh, let's see your imagination, but that's not right. Uh, you can go in many different paths. You can try to do scientific to to win. You can go military. Um, you can go uh, diplomatic and just build up your um, your territory. There's I'm not setting up this game because it's 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 a it's a beast. Um, the each ship has its own uh, special abilities and stats, um, and uh, I also painted these up so they don't come in the box like this. All the Klingons come base green. All the Federation come comes white but um, I've been painting miniatures for 30 years now so it, these are relatively easy to paint up um, so there's uh, a stack of hex cards I'm not, not going to take everything out um, that what you will set up the universe with that you will set out a map and then you will move your ships about and explore and reveal um, and that's a class J planet and then you roll a die to see if you have an encounter and you flip a if you get an encounter you'll roll uh, you'll pull from the encounter deck which is essentially an episode um, each encounter card is a different episode from either the original series or the next generation or Deep Space Nine or Voyager um, and uh, you play for victory points so you'll get two victory points if you blow up an opponent's ship you'll get two victory points if you build a star base you'll get uh, a victory point for completing you'll have a, objective cards um, and you will control two or three ships um, on your side and some of those ships will be science ships so you'll have science cards and some of them will be um, say military ships and so they'll have combat cards and some will be uh, uh, espionage ships for when you get the Romulans in um, and then you'll get espionage cards and if you complete missions by bringing crew to different planets it, really it's um, it's a very uh, thematic Star Trek game um, you will uh, have crew that you can attach to ships and they will give benefits it's uh, to to the ship you can tell teleport transport um, character from ship to ship um, it's uh, uh, we've had a good time at each time this has hit the table um, even my non trekkie friends uh, struggle through and uh, I, I almost say enjoy but they seem to have a good time when we play they, they say they don't know what's going on but they have a good time so this is a uh, Star Trek fleet captains number 22 um, and thanks Dexter for jingling um, uh, sorry, number 21, Star Trek Fleet Captains. Stay tuned for number 20 for the kids.